Despite the fact that these patterns of abuse that you went through in your past must be fully felt, they can't be fully felt from the defense of them as your identity. They can't be felt if you defend that the things that abused you and your story of abuse is your identity. There's a difference between identifying with it and seeing it. Anne-Marie says, how do you move out of the emergency frequency when you've been in a state since childhood due to an abuse as an adult, meaning I seek to react to icky situations with the emergency frequency instead of being in a state of being able to be chill and listen for guidance. When I was a child, I was always told the way I felt was wrong. So Anne-Marie, here's, here's my intuitive answer for you. I want you to know, first of all, I hear you that you went through really big stuff. I want to just bring to light that I'm going to say something that it's important that I make sure I bring light to that I hear that you went that through that. And it was big and dark and heavy and major abuse, right? I also want to just point out that you're here and you're here because you've been tapping into something also that's true. And the thing that you're tapping into that's true is the power of what you are in this moment. And the challenge you have is a lack of knowledge of something that is going to be pointed out to you in this answer. And the lack of knowledge is the lack of understanding that you're bigger than everything that's ever happened to you. You in the now is bigger than everything that's ever happened to you. And Despite the fact that these patterns of abuse that you went through in your past must be fully felt, they can't be fully felt from the defense of them as your identity. Right? Did you get that? They can't be felt if you defend that the things that abused you and your story of abuse is your identity. There's a difference between identifying with it and seeing it right? You can't see it until you go to a frequency of what you are. It says, Anne-Marie says, yes, so don't defend the story and make it my identity. Correct. However, there's an understanding that it exists. There's not a, I'm not that anymore, push it away energy, right? There's what you are in this moment right now, and this moment includes this space. It includes the merging with the space, the all that isness. And when you finally don't defend the identity as the abused, but you're the identity of the now, and there are energies that absolutely need to be fully seen and alchemized, right? These energies need to be seen by you, and they only will be seen by you making moves from the real frequency of what you are. And I've used this in a short before, but I think there's such a great example of it in the movie Castaway. In the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks is on this island and he struggles with the island and he's on the island and he's fighting everything and he's trying to deal with his dental issues and the Wilson and the everything. And he struggles for a long time to get off the island. And when he finally starts to get off the island, the camera pans back to the island and you see him rowing and the music kicks in and you almost tear up because it's like he had this relationship with this island that he never got to acknowledge was a part of his growth and his, and it saved him and everything. And it's an island he struggled with and punched and yelled at but it became his home, but he really didn't ever mourn it until he left it. And the island to me in that story represents your story of abuse. It's an, it's an island of a story that you went through and you can be in the story of abuse and struggle with it. Or you can get to the now and start rowing away from that story, but look back at it and thank it 
and say, thank you for the patterns that protected me from abuse that still are active now, even though I don't need them. Thank you to the patterns of fixing and overachieving and whatever else. Thank you to those patterns. But you can't do that till you get off the island, which you do by getting with the truth. And the truth is that that island isn't bigger than you, but at one point is needed to help you survive, but now it isn't. And so we connect to the now because the now, it will help you thrive and it will say goodbye to your surviving energies. Because when we move to a higher consciousness, we don't need surviving energies all the time anymore unless we're actually needing to survive an actual short-term life or death situation. So we get to the rowboat of our lives, which is the rowboat of meditation and love and now, and we thank it and we're here. And as we row away, we look at the patterns of how we protected ourselves from abuse and we thank it. And that's the point of my video, the funeral. The point of the video, the funeral, is how to have a funeral for those patterns, how to say goodbye to those patterns. And this is so important to me because you don't need survival mechanisms anymore. And the more you aim for your expansion, the more you naturally survive. You get more safety through expansion than the prioritizing of safety. Did you get that? If your whole goal is safety, 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 I got to survive financially, whatever. I got to survive people's opinions, whatever. You're in a vibration of survival. But true expansion is working with God and God will divinely help you survive. God will save you so much more than you moving at the survival frequency. So Anne-Marie, if I reread your question and I change it to the patterns from me, it totally changes. How do you move out of the frequency when you've been in that state? Watch this. When the pattern has been in that state since childhood. So it's not you at all. Due to abuse as a child with an adult. Meaning, then it says I. So I'm going to change that to it seeks to react to it, icky situations with the, the emergency frequency. Instead of being in a state of being able to be chill and listen for guidance. And as a child, it was always told the way it felt was wrong. It's a pattern and you are now, and it's okay that it was told that because you're the parents it never had, and you are a space of unconditional love. And these patterns will be alchemized once you're off of the island of those patterns. Right? Anne-Marie says, wow, tears. And those tears are the island of the patterns a little bit leaving because you're the now. And those patterns are not as big as you are. But our only problem was a lack of awareness that we thought those patterns were I. That's why the question was, I seek to react to icky situations. No, the patterns did because you didn't understand that was you. And now you're starting the understanding of this is you. And we celebrate those patterns for saving our lives. And if you need help with that, watch the video of the funeral. <laughs>